Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at your energy versus your person's energy and your overall relationship. This reading is going to help illuminate the themes that are surrounding you both. We are going to be looking at the challenges, the blockages, the cards advice for you and your person as well, and the potential outcome in the probable future. If the messages here do not resonate, please feel free to check your other signs for important insights and cross watchers. The roles can be vice versa. Please take the messages however resonates. Before we get into your reading, I would like to apologize for any background noise in this video. There is construction around the neighborhood and just ignore that. Taurus, thank you for your patience and thank you all for your support. Without further ado, let's begin. This is for Taurus and their person. What is Taurus energy, please, towards this person? All right, so Taurus, this is your card. It describes their internal state, current attitude, or strength within the context of this reading. This person's card. All right, let's see. Your energy is coming across as the Seven of Cups. This person's energy is the Two of Swords. What is the overall relationship, please? Overall relationship. We have the two of pentacles. So there's two in this reading. And two is a number of decision facing a fork in a the road. There could be a very important decision you and your person need to make. And I feel like with Seven of Cups, you could be feeling rather confused right now, Taurus, where you stand in this person's life. You feel as though there is lack of security or assurance from this person. You could also be feeling quite overwhelmed. And another message here, Taurus, some of you may have options when it comes to dating, when it comes to love. You actually have a lot of eligible suitors here. This is also the message for you is that you think you don't have options, but you do have options. You have a choice. And the first step in order to dispel the confusion is to check in with how you're feeling, Taurus. Don't be afraid to take that cup in which you feel is more aligned with who you are. What cup will make you really fulfilled and happy? Because what I'm seeing here with Two of Pentacles, it's like you are in a situation where it's neither good nor bad, but... You want something more. There is a desire, a feeling of what else could be out there. Or there's this feeling of this couldn't be it. There's going to be something more to this relationship. There's going to be something more to love. The Seven of Cups often shows up in a reading where you feel like there's some type of illusion here. You're trying to figure out is this love? Is this infatuation? Do I really have deep feelings for this person? Or am I just being carried away? All right. The Seven of Cups may also speak about our initial attraction to, attraction to somebody or infatuation, only to find out it's not what it seemed to be. So you, you could be figuring things out here, Taurus. You could actually be taking a step back and evaluating the situation. All right. I'm also getting here that you're thinking about your long-term goals, whether this connection with this person is aligned to your own personal goals. Because I feel like this is very essential in terms of where you want this to go. If this is something for long term. Now, with the Two of Swords energy, I'm also getting that on this person's end, there is indecision. There is a struggle making up their mind. I'm also getting here denial. Like, look at the Two of Swords. Somebody is already seeing the potential, but they're denying it. This can also be because your person is afraid of making a final decision about the matter. And this could be why you're feeling confused as well. Like by now, things could have already progressed, but we're still in the, in the same status quo. So you are reaching a point of your life here, Taurus, where your priorities are suddenly shifting. And it's not wrong to desire more because I feel like you know your, your worth deep down. It's a matter of knowing what it is that you can accept and what you can't accept. Also, the Seven of Cups is you understanding what's the difference of where your happiness lies and what you're unsure of, you know? Some of you could be saying, um, the reason why 
I'm not fully devoting myself in this person because I'm also not very sure if this person is the one for me or if this person is really what I'm looking for. You could be trying to search deep down in your heart how you feel about this person. You're trying to understand your attraction towards them and why you're staying in this connection. Now, on another message, Taurus, it also feels like somebody's juggling here. You know, you could feel like this person has somebody else on the side and they're not letting that other person go. And you don't want to just be the option here, Taurus. If it's not another person, then this could also be everything in between right now going on in your life. Work, responsibilities, obligations, and tasks that are pulling you both in different direction. And you feel as though the momentum in this relationship is just stop and go. Because nobody, especially on this person's end, I feel like they're not making a firm decision on things. You feel like everything is so fluid and nothing is really stable and secure. And this could be the reason why you're also not committing just yet. Because you've been waiting for this person to be very sure and express their clear desire and intention for commitment before you proceed any further let's see why is the two of swords here we have the father of pentacles some of you may have met this person because of work some of you may have also met this person because of online all right online dating in the beginning there was a lot of fun and playful energy but as it appears like here taurus you are starting to really develop feelings for this person this person as well, I feel that, but there is an air of denial here. Like somebody's trying to suppress themselves and they could be saying, I'm not fully ready for that commitment. Why don't we just see where this goes? This Father of Pentacles could be another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this person is exercising self-control right now. But I'm also getting that they don't want to, to let you go with Two of Pentacles. Um, some of you feel like this situation is quite a bit unfair because you're waiting for somebody to make up their mind. You don't even have an assurance when this will be. But you definitely have an option here if you want to wait or not, Taurus. Just putting it out there. If you deep down feel like this person is not ever going to be decisive about you could be time to take a step back here because this is only going to cause you further confusion if you want to know how somebody really feels about you and where they want this to go all right they're going to prove that in action this person is going to make you his or make you hers there's not an ounce of doubt or question in your mind and the and the very fact that you are feeling confused here means that this person is not stepping up giving you that kind of emotional security all right let's see why is the seven of cups energy here please we have the seven of swords so taurus i also feel like a lot of you are just watching and observing this person if there is any sort of deception going on some of you feel like you need to pay close attention to your intuition and find out if their intentions are real or if this is just somebody that is up to hurt you there are two sevens in your side here, which means that you have experienced a lot in your connection and in the past as well. This could be triggering some sort of past experience for you. It's reminding you of an old wound as well where somebody may have deceived you and it feels like a very familiar situation. Let's see. What is the challenge here? What is the challenge or the obstacle that Taurus is facing? We have the hangman. So some of you feel like your person is just deceiving you, leading you on because you've been waiting here with the hangman, waiting for a clear sign, you know, waiting for your person to give you the direct answer, not just in words, but in actions as well. Some of you could also be waiting for this person to let go of the other options that they have, or both parties are waiting for that as well. But see, when the hangman appears in the reading, it's time to reevaluate recalibrate your priorities somebody was prioritizing something else here there could be a lot of distraction outside the relationship 
and it's like both parties are avoiding taking that that next step the hangman speaks about sacrifice some of you feel like you've been making a lot of sacrifice you've been putting the work in and this person is not reciprocating the same remember not to be overly sacrificial here again taurus you have options with seven of cups you have a choice whether you want to wait for this person despite knowing that you know there could potentially be a juggler here or the hangman can speak about feeling empowered and realizing that you have control over your life let's see why is the hangman energy here please i'm just going to clarify the hangman we have the lovers so this is a choice right see the thing about your person here is that there's a little bit of a stubborn energy with the Father of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Meaning somebody could be approaching relationship in a very slow and steady way. Although this is good, but I'm getting that it's, you know, good things come to those who wait, Taurus. However, it doesn't come to those who wait long enough. It almost feels like this person is waiting for something else or a sign or something better. And that's why they're not ready to settle down. And I'm getting that this definitely painful and hurtful for you but the first step is to really see things in reality not to be caught up with the illusion right and i'm also seeing with father of pentacles you're ready to confront this person some of you may have been avoiding confronting this person because you're you're also not ready to know what this person's answer is and it's just like the current status quo is the same here you want them to release the other person but they're not doing that the lover's card is a choice there's no doubt that there's feelings involved here, but the lover's soulmate connection also present challenge and lesson. And I feel like the lesson for this person is that if they are in this kind of energy of indecision, right, and not take action, they may lose this opportunity with you because life doesn't wait on them as well. I feel like for some of you at some point, you could be saying, I'm done waiting here. And you're still not giving me the assurance or you're not being faithful you're not being honest i'm getting that you're trying to wake this person up from that sleepy state of consciousness thinking that you're happy with this but you're not you want them to realize it's time for change all right and you crave for growth and expansion in this relationship you want this person to be on the same page with you taurus with lover's card and I'm also getting with Father of Pentacles. See, if this person allows this to continue, the status quo, they may wake up one day and regret not taking that opportunity with you because they were waiting for something better. It, and it may never come. All right? This could be somebody who's not settling down because they think there's something better. And for some of you that are already free from this person, there could still be that feelings involved here. But you're, you're also sort of feeling confused because this person confused you. I'm getting that this person got into your head here, Taurus. But with lover's card, it's a time for healing. I feel like deep down, you know in your heart, if it's something genuine that you felt for this person or you were just being drawn to them for a reason. All right. I'm also getting that there is potential new love coming in for you in the future and you're going to realize what's real and what's not this might just be something that confused you so that you're going to realize what real love is in the future and that could be one of the lessons you're about to figure out from this experience with this person and you're also going to realize i'm glad i didn't settle down for that kind of treatment because if i settled down if i got myself stuck with the hangman I may never have been reunited with the right person. So let's see here. What is the potential outcome? Because the advice for you here, Taurus, you'll know in your heart the truth, okay? You'll know in your heart if you're happy or not. The right decision to make here is one that's going to give you happiness, joy, and peace. So if it's the opposite, if staying in this connection makes you unhappy, makes you always question somebody's loyalty, faithfulness, makes you always feel uh, sort of insecure if, if this person is talking to somebody else. That could be a sign that there's something else out there for you. There's something better that awaits you, Taurus. 
Let's see, what is the potential outcome? We have the High Priestess. So the potential out outcome here is that you're going to realize a lot of things. You're going to start to dispel the illusion. You may even uncover secrets and lies here. All right. You may also discover that this person is not who they seem to be or it wasn't really what you thought it was. It wasn't really the relationship you had in your mind. It was completely different. And that is because... All right, that is because you are get, you're about to meet somebody who's completely different here, Taurus. All right, and universe is going to find a way to help you realize that what's real and what's not, what's authentic and what's inauthentic. You felt like this connection was not going deeper. It's because the offer being presented from this person is also not that deep, okay? somebody wasn't really letting you in here and i'm getting that you've been waiting let your intuition guide you right now with high priestess remember that the person that loves you and that really has intentions for you taurus for long term you don't even need to question that at all because somebody's going to do whatever it takes to make you theirs and make you happy And as harsh as it may be, I feel like you know deep down that you deserve something better and that it's not good for you to hold your, your life back waiting for somebody. It's just knowing that for every pot there is a lid and perhaps, perhaps there's also somebody here for you and somebody else for this person. And holding on to it is only going to extend that unhappiness and constantly feeling with Seven of Swords being deceived by this person okay you could be dealing with some type of player energy here taurus you've given them a lot of chances is what i'm seeing here the hangman traditionally can speak about um, a traitor like somebody betrayed your trust some secrets have come out or are about to come out and also revelations all right pay attention to your intuition at this time is going to be very on point and it's going to really lead you to, towards the right direction sometimes we think we want something until we finally meet that person and realize it's not what we wanted or it's only until you really get to know somebody that you realize they're different you know it may have initially escaped your observation there might have already been some red flags in the beginning but you thought that somebody is willing to change here Let's see. I'm going to pull some Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards to see what else we can get about this person's energy, okay? What else can we get about this person that Taurus is dealing with? We have faith. You had faith on this person. You had faith that you both will come together. Gratitude card. All right. So what I'm seeing here... Taurus, the person that you're dealing with, you really felt grateful for this person. Um, you felt like they had all the qualities that you wanted. All right. And I'm also seeing here that they're not really ill intentioned, you know. However, because of the lack of commitment, all right, I feel like this really made the situation rather messy. And confusing we have acceptance so the acceptance card here may comment on what you're willing to accept some of you may have even felt grateful for the little amount of effort this person was putting in because you had so much faith in them All right, and I'm getting here that you're realizing now that what completes you is you and not this person. That your happiness and your worth is not defined by what this person is able to give. But I'm also getting here with faith card. You have faith that this person has brought, been brought into your life for a reason. You feel grateful for the lesson. But you also deep down know that there's something missing, right? That is just not what you thought it was. Let me pull an advice card here for you, Taurus. Some of you, you're dealing with a very spiritual person as well, with faith card. 
but it's like upon meeting this person they're completely different you felt like something was missing here okay what is your final advice for taurus please we have discipline i can accomplish what i set my mind into so i feel like the message for you here is to stay focused taurus and you know what you're looking for don't be tempted with the seven of cups or don't be because what i'm seeing here is that you still have the attachment and attraction for this person but the discipline part here means that you know what's good for you all right you know the right path to take here your soul has a goal but it also has chosen to incarnate into a world of distraction Earth is a dimension of obstacles and challenges, but you have been given discipline as your birthright. It is time to remind yourself what your soul has come back to this planet to learn. This is a great opportunity to reevaluate your priorities and go about your daily tasks with a new system of managing your life instead of being the passive recipient of whatever comes your way. So I feel like this is about going for what you deserve and not settling down here, not being distracted from your path and i feel like some of you are realizing i've been i've been misled or i've been distracted by this connection i've put my life on a halt distractions can easily get us off the work of our soul and it, if we give into this apathetic impulse we can miss many well-placed and pre-planned teachings needed for our inherent growth learn that the satisfaction of a task completed is more emotionally rewarding than a task delayed so i'm getting that universe does not want you to be stuck here taurus you could be the one who needs to confront this person or communicate with this person there's a need for clarity there's a need for that discussion frank and honesty to really know where you stand because a lot of the things have been delayed with the hangman so it could be something unfinished or undone but you cannot just simply accept the current status quo because you know deep down there's something missing here. That's what I'm seeing for your reading, Taurus. I hope that this gave you some insight and guidance. Thank you all for watching till the end. I'm sending you love and light. Take care at this time and namaste.